Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. I pull up roto window shining. Yeah. I pull up roto window shining. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. I don't want to ramble too much in the beginning of this video because I want to get right into it. As Stormy and her mom, Betty, get on national television and embarrass themselves, I'm going to continue to debunk their lies. Stormy and Betty are coming on the reunion acting as though they have an issue with the way Mel chose to respond to some of the comments from the fans. When at the end of the day a hit dog will holler i'm not understanding why stormy felt like fans felt like she was the person that was recording mail inside her home when mail had revealed that walkie talkie was the one trying to record her there were multiple videos out of mail doing interviews letting everyone know that mail's baby mama violated her privacy by way in which of trying to hack her phone so the minute everyone said that people that really knew what was up knew that Mel was talking about Mel's baby mama things of that nature walkie talkie criminalistic hoped so Stormy wanting Mel to jump out in the forefront and denounce that it's her would have not made any sense because most of us knew who, exactly who it was at the time Stormy was new to the game but again for those of you that are saying you guys understand where Stormy and her mom is coming from as far as feeling like Mel should have told us that she wasn't talking about stormy she don't have to clear shit up because if you know then you know that she clears things up over time like stormy you're new and as you said y'all weren't really friends like that y'all were building so why would she step out in the forefront to denounce or say anything she would have announced it and said it over time like she did in the interviews which she has always done so again pay attention you guys stormy feeling some type of way about male not denouncing that is a hit dog hollering she she needed anything to have an issue with Mill because at the end of the day, we, the fans, the Melometers, called Stormy out way, way, way before the recording scene. People were calling Stormy out for knowing Slarion. Stormy lied and said that when she first met Mill, she told Mill that she knew of that broad. And Mill basically let it be known. Had that been true, she would have never been, been okay with this woman being on her platform, being associated with the person that has been trying to taunt and harass her. So y'all ask y'all self the question do y'all really feel like Mel would still have linked up with Stormy had Stormy been honest about knowing Slarion? Mind you when you see the clips in this video you guys are going to see that Mel did not know any of this until after the fact. That mean Mel would have had to find out about her relationship with Slarion last year or the beginning of 2023. So she would have had to find out about her knowing Slarion in 2022 or the beginning of 2023. Stormy hired Melody as a brand ambassador in 2018, 2019. Mind you, this is just the beginning. I'm gonna unpack all of this and it might even be an hour video because we're gonna go all the way back. All the way back to the brand ambassadorship, all the way back to her and Slaw and the friend linking up outside the warehouse all the way back to the baby line we're gonna go all the way back so here is just a glimpse of how stormy and her mom set mail up and they've been plotting on mail from the very start stormy never had good intentions for mail and i'm gonna be the one to prove it stormy really showed her hand and nobody is hating on stormy nobody wants to not like stormy so bad at the end of the day so many people wanted to like stormy so many people wanted to see a new face on the show and we wanted to see what this friendship could develop into, whether it would have developed into a friendship or not. However, Stormy showed her hand. She didn't even give it time to grow into a friendship or not grow into a friendship. She instantly came in wanting to have an issue with Mel. And I agree with Dustin in the interview that he did with Carlos, saying that he don't know if she felt like that's what the fans wanted, but that's not what we wanted, ho. That's what your mom wanted when she was in them group messages on Facebook. 
Facebook because they are a hate group for Mel. Your mammy was in a hate group for Mel and you took that as this is what the fans wanted to see, not knowing that it was going to really tarnish your image. In my opinion, it doesn't have you looking good. You look like a hater. Because the truth is, none of this makes sense. It doesn't make sense how you sought Mel out and hired her as a brand ambassador knowing that her baby mama had a mistress that worked in your warehouse who you used to talk to. You can play in everybody else's face, but you can't play in our face. I do believe Carlos hired you because he knew of this. And like I said, we're going to go back and do an ultimate deep dive. But this is Slarion's best friend who is also a hairstylist who used to do Slarion's hair. So not only was she outside your warehouse, y'all also got y'all hair done by the same person. Who do you think recommended that person? The point is you're disingenuous. You knew more about the situation than you led on. Because when I text you, I just didn't get a reply. So you didn't try to call or text after that? I did. It's weird that you didn't DM me because I got tons no, of DMs what? from you no, all the time. No, no, that's not weird that DM you. You DM me all the but you don't have my number. Exactly. The way I first met Stormy was her team had actually reached out to my management and branding team. And there was a branding ambassadorship um, that happened between myself and Canvas Beauty, her products. And so that's how we met. Uh, we met that way. I pitched her, like I said, I did pitch her to Carlos and them. I, I'll be honest, I didn't know her before then, and okay. I hadn't heard of her either. Um, one time, someone mentioned her to me, and that was when her husband had first gifted her with her car, her G-Wagon. And they were like, man, like, you need to meet this person. Like, look, they doing good things, big things. Out and they showed me, like, a little, I think they had a little video put together of it. It was on social media somewhere he, when he gifted her with her truck. But other than that, I never heard about her, never heard about her brand. And then when her team reached out to my team, you know, that's how that happened. I met her for the first time and, you know, got to know more about her. And I'm like, oh, shoot, this is what's up. Like, she'll be good. She and her family will be, will be good for Love Emotions. She was pregnant at the time. Um, and so I knew what that's why she explained what she had gone through with trying to get pregnant. I'm like, man, this would be dope. And so that's what it was. And, I, you know, I made the call, <laughs> like Carlos said, made the call, um, pitched them, and now here they are. Somebody asked a question. If I knew Ariane, I always say, yeah, I know Ariane. And let me tell you, I reiterate it. I know Ariane because. One of her best friends at the time is Courtney's, is Courtney's best friend. And Courtney's best friend used to work for us. Everybody used to sit outside in the car and wait on him. I know her. You know what I'm saying? Or your friends? No. Never thought that could be interpreted as friendship. I also never interpreted liking a picture in 2020, y'all best friends. And to be honest with you, and if anybody ever said anything different, I'm pulling receipts because I got them. One thing about me, the whole time I've ever been thought, even thinking about doing a show, I was like, I don't know these people. I don't know what I'm walking into. I'm going to always either dine in and the T's are crossed. The very first day I ever met Mel in person, I told her, I said, yeah, I'm going to be with you. Like, I know her, seen her, have said stuff to her. Hey, how you doing? Because, like I said, she had a whole friend that worked at our house. She sits outside the car. Um, I don't I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if her intentions were that or not. I can't speak to what her intentions were. So, have you heard that she know Ariane? I have. I've seen that. Mm -hmm. And is that at all a part of the reason why you may have, you know, kind of like slid back on her a little bit? Um, No, no, because I didn't know that at the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. The very first day. I ever met Mel in person, I told her, I said, yeah, I'm going to be with you. Like, I know her, seen her, have said stuff to her. Hey, how you doing? Um, No, no, because I didn't know that at the time. Okay. So, so that came after that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so after, you know, things started, I guess, happening on social media, then people started bringing out different receipts and bringing out, you know, reasons why. So I know that now. The very first day I ever met Mel in person, I told her, I said, yeah, I'm going to be with you. Like, I know her, seen her. Have said stuff to her. Hey, how you doing? Um, but no, so no, it wasn't at that time. No. Really? Now, if you ask me if now if, in this place where I am, knowing that if that would be something that I would be cool with, no, just okay. because I'm very protective of my space, I'm very protective of my life, what right. I do, how I do it, my information. So when it comes to people who are connected to people who I know have an issue with me for no other reason except either they want what I have had or whatever the case may be, I really ain't checking for that. Let's see your phone. I don't. I don't. I don't have an issue. I don't have an issue. I don't want issue. I don't got an issue. No one. one. I think it's weird. We weird. If anything, I think we have more in common than we have not. And I promise you, I know what you're talking about, but it ain't what it is. I promise you it's not. If you, you have no idea, it's not. I'm serious. I promise. Is it the picture? Because what? Because every time I've been online, I've always said I don't have issues with this. Every single time. You can run it back every single time. This is a circus. Marketing queen. That is. For real. 2022, it's clear that I don't have a lazy bone in my body, hence why I'm able to still keep climbing as I'm doing. And so with me trying to make sure I am protecting my own peace, I just cut people off if I need to. And I don't wish anything bad on you, but I'm just good. I'm good on it. Since y'all are like you and Martell, like y'all cool now, do you like see you and her being cool again? I can be cordial, I can be nice, and I still will love you from a distance. I still love her. Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, 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 hey
I haven't engaged with anyone, you know, since the reunion. And like, I feel like everybody's here is acting like, you know, we all like hang out all the time. And, you know, I'm kind of like into it, you know. I don't do a lot of fake and I'm just chilling. Betty? Betty? You said what? You ready to talk about Miss Betty? I was going to say, was it good to see Miss Betty? Was it good to see her? Um, uh, yes, because we were able to finally determine that she is um, d determined, I think, to kind of interrupt the cast in a way. You know, I'm a person of a certain age and we come from Michigan, right? Yes. And so we come from a certain type of um, societal lens and, and cultural lens when it comes to black culture and, and black culture we we revere and respect our elders you know i believe in a very clear boundary of respect that exists between elders and, and the, the generation after them or generations to come after them i'm a respectful person when it comes to my elders i call my friends parents miss and mr whoever and yes. dr sir dr simone you know i respect my elders and so um i <laughs> so i <laughs> Love you, Los. So I um, love you back. <laughs> so I, uh, so you know, I believe in that, that respect, and so I just when I see the absence of it in such a blatant nature, it is unnerving for me. I don't like the way that Stormy's mom was determined to be combative and in, in, in a confrontation with Melody. That's uh, it. Just don't look right. I remember when Nene was on The Apprentice, and she said, uh, "You know, you can't just be arguing with somebody seventy years old talking about Dion Warwick." She said, "Because it just don't look right." So we just, you know, your hands are tied. Now, where Miss Betty messed up is she's one mama too late. OK, Melody has run out of patience. She went through hell with Letitia's mother. And unfortunately, Miss Betty, you just not you, your, your time. You just came around at the wrong time because Melody does not have it for her. Melody flat out told her, oh, fine, I'm not here for you. OK, I don't know how much more clear that can be. It, it, it diffuses all of that energy because she's refusing to engage with her in that way. You know, it's only so much she can take, but Melody is telling her, like, this really ain't, you don't have nothing to do with this. And I'm so glad she took that approach because her mama doesn't have a place in conflict and, and being combative with those women and the men on that stage. You're somebody's goddamn mother. OK, so you need to act like that and try to infuse some sort of order. Be maternal, be, be, be like be a matriarch amongst this cast instead of getting here, acting ignorant, yelling, making noises and faces, exaggerated behaviors, doing all that ignorant shit. I hated to see somebody's mama act like that. And I felt bad for Stormy. Because Stormy is Stormy Steele is aware of presentation and image, and she's aware of Stormy is a businesswoman. She's built that shit out the mud, a multi million dollar business, and she doesn't like her mama acting like that amongst that cash. She doesn't like her mom being in the wrong like that and starting shit, prodding, poking, and prodding Melody, and the and eventually everybody is gonna get it with a mother like that. You know what I mean? So I didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. And I felt like it was unfair because the other person on the other side, unless Melody's mama comes out, you know, she's man. powerless. She's powerless. Yeah, get in your van and run her over. Okay, <laughs> that's what you do because that was just van to get her van. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sure do. You can put Melody's brother on Junior if he got something to say. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We joking. But yeah, I just thought she. You in the know. words, in the words of Mariah Hunt, this is not married to him. <laughs> oh, because somebody drew on a poster. I was like, if Mariah don't change her pamper. Mariah alone. Grow up, Mariah. Oh, nothing, Lord Jesus. Yeah, and I got some shit to say about Married to Medicine, too, but we'll do that at another time. Back to Love and Marriage Huntsville and this incredible second part of this reunion. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for that. Yeah. The thing that I want to ask you, though, one of the things that was a big topic of discussion, okay, in regards to the Stormy Melody Miss Betty trifecta mm -hmm. is the fact that when, when, le when an episode aired last season, and it showed that um, Destiny was playing something of a recording that Martell heard about um, Melody doing an interview, I think, with TMZ. Mm -hmm. Okay, but a lot of people thought it was a recording that somebody physically got the phone and was and was recording mm -hmm. Melody's conversation. Because of that, the fans went crazy, um, and people were intimating that Stormy was was behind this leaked phone call. And it wasn't, by the way, a leaked phone call, guys. That was from I think TMZ or another. Um, it was a soundbite. It was a soundbite. So Miss. Betty, who apparently is a part of the Love and Marriage Huntsville Facebook fan page. Hi, y'all. Mm -hmm. um, she went on Facebook, started going in on Melody, saying, Melody, you see your millimeters attacking Stormy. Stormy had nothing to do with this. Can you clear the air? And Melody said, number one, she didn't see it. Number two, that ain't her job. How do you feel about that? Do you think 
that Melody should have made a, a comment, a tweet that this is not about Stormy. Stormy had nothing to do with it to clear the air. No, because she don't like Stormy. <laughs> so why would she do that? No, I don't. Now, I think Melody's not telling the truth. I know Melody saw those comments under there. Of course she saw them. But she wasn't motivated to offer any sort of rebuttal or say something to change this. But I think if we zoom out a little bit, why would she even discuss that with them, right? It shows who places value in what's going on in the comments as opposed to who's showing up, being present in the scenes and worried about that. It's a performative um, element that is present to the way that um, Stormy's mom is Betty shows up. She's performing for what she thinks the people that are watching the show are going to say. And, she, and she's playing to them. She's playing to what the comments have to say. And that's why that was so important to her because she's a fan of the show like we all are, right? But I think that when you become a cast member on the show, you have to have a moment where you understand that you can't partake and participate in the fandom of the show because you're on it. And I think that because she's caught up in being a fan of the show, Miss Betty, that's what I'm talking about. I think because she's caught up in being a fan of the show, she wants the people in the comments on her side. And that's just not how it works, unfortunately. Those people are expressing their opinions about a whole lot of stuff, okay? And you can't really play to that in the way that you show up on the show. It shows a lack of maturity. Um, and so it's just another example of her doing that. Um, I don't think that she should have expected Melody to do it. I don't think that I can understand Stormy being upset that you're not clearing something up. But I also think Stormy understands that her and Melody ain't cool like that. So why should she do her a solid in that way? She could. And it would be a nice thing to do to kind of broker peace and move things in a better direction. But once you've already kind of entered a space where, you know, Stormy, I think Stormy, we talked previously um, about the show and I expressed to you how I think Stormy kind of played the hand wrong when it came to being so willing to lean into um, a, a, a an argument or, or a, um, some sort of disagreement with Melody. Mm -hmm. I think she leaned into that too much because she thought that's what the fans wanted to see is her and mama, you know, but um, it was a bad play. And so I think that all of that is just another example of that. Do you feel like Stormy should check her mom for how she is acting when it comes to Melody. Um, because we saw this with Tisha and Miss Wanda, where a lot of people, and we saw it on other shows, when you have a mom on the show and she just kind of goes in. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it's the child's job to like get their mom in check? Or do you feel like let your mama, you know, be who she is, get this, you know, get this moment and just, that's her? Depends on where your value system lies and your relationship with your mama, right? Like me personally, ain't nobody about to be disrespecting my mother. Full stop. So because of that, and you know what I'm saying, I would make sure that my mom was not vulnerable for that sort of um, harm by not allowing her to mix into what's going on amongst me and my friends in that way, right? If you're my mother, you can be here supporting me. You can be a sounding board for me and give me good advice, but you're not about to get into the mess and, and the, the business of what's going on between me and my friends because it's not your place. I don't want you to offer an opinion on someone else. And then now you're vulnerable for them to offer theirs on you. I don't want nobody disrespecting my mama. So I'm not going to put her in that position. Their mothers can be involved on this show. They can have a great role. There's a great opportunity there for these mothers to be the peacemakers, bring people together and, and have a healthy relationship amongst these cast members. But unfortunately, we continue to see moms who don't do that, you know, um, and and Stormy's mom is an example of that. I do think Stormy needs to check her mama. I do. If she don't want nobody disrespecting her mama and cussing her out. Yes, she should check her mama. But we've also seen how Stormy and her mother and all them talk to each other. So maybe that's not a, a hard line for her. Maybe she don't care about somebody telling her mama to shut the fuck up or, you know, <laughs> saying, you know, shut your ass up, you know, calling her out her name and shit. Maybe that's not, a, you know, a hard line for them. You ain't doing that to my mom. And so because of that, I would never even allow my mom to offer an opinion, be involved in, in the minutia of my participation on a reality show. It just wouldn't happen. We'd be going over to my mama's house, eating good food and, and getting loved on and, and enjoying a mother. That's what we'd be doing at my mama, okay? Not talking shit about the cast. Well, you're going to see the continuation of this next week in our part three reunion. Yes. Um, let me tell you something. If you thought part two was great, wait until part three happens. It's the... Yeah. yeah. I pull up Roto Winner County. Yeah. I pull up Roto Winner County. Yeah. yeah. I pull up Roto Winner County. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a like chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be a place. Oh, 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 oh,